I had an idea for this particular image, but the first thing I wanted to do was to darken down the sky a little bit. But when I started looking around the area of the sky, I started to notice some little spots. Now this is dust which is on the sensor of my camera. Even though my camera is fitted with a device that when I turn it off, it'll clean it, spots can still occur. So what I thought we'd do is we'd have a look at, first of all, finding out where these spots are and then removing them. But first thing we need to do, let's zoom into 100%. Now you can do that by either double clicking on the zoom tool or using a very useful shortcut, which is command or control. So press and hold down command or control. Now press number one, we go into 100% of the image. I'm going to press down the space bar, which gives me the hand tool. We can now move our way along. And you can see there's a couple of spots here to enable us to see the spots a little bit clearer. We're going to come to the layers panel. We're going to put in an adjustment layer of levels. If I come down to the center slider of the levels, we're going to move this across to the right hand side. And as I move it over, you can see the image darkening down will just allow us to see these spots a little bit clearer. Now, the next thing we need to do is put a new empty layer underneath this adjustment layer. And we can do that by pressing down and holding down command or control. So hold down the command or the control key. We're going to come up to create a new layer icon, clicking on this. And because you held down command or control, it went underneath the layer that was live. In other words, this adjustment layer, it says it's layer one, but we're going to change this to what it's going to become, which is clean. In other words, if you want to clean your image up, this is where we're going to do it. Right, let's have a look at removing these dust spots. We're going to use the spot healing brush. We're going to come down to the tool options. So let's just take a look. I have got content aware. Make sure you've got sample or layers. Make sure that is ticked. And if I bring my, yeah, I've got a 100 pixel brush. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click down on that. And there it is. Hasn't done a particularly good job. It's a soft edge brush. Now with a soft edge brush, you get a little bit of a feather with that soft edge to it. And that's why you got it around the outside, but there's a bit of sky or a bit of sky, a bit of cloud in the center. That's what I meant to say. But because we used a new empty layer, we can come down, we can just use the eraser tool. We can get rid of that. Let's go back to the spot healing brush. We're going to change it from soft edge brush to hard edge brush. Press enter or return to remove that panel. Let's take it up to probably around about the, I would I think around about the 80 should do it. Yes, that looks better like that. Clicking down and this time it has done a much better job. Right, let's come around the rest of these. Let's get rid of those while we see them. Moving over to the edge, Ooh, there's another one there. And if I just move up to the top of the image, just pressing down the space bar, you get the hand tool. There it is, a very faint one there. In fact, if I turn this off, you can see it's barely visible. Switching it back on. Yes, you can now see it clearer. And coming over to this one, releasing my space bar, gives me back the spot healing brush. A very, very faint one there. In fact, if I turn that off, you can't even see it. Switch it back on. There it is. Gone. Or well, there it was. Right. Uh, oh, very faint one at the top area. And a little tiny one down there. So I'm going to use the left hand square bracket. That's going to make the brush smaller. The reason for doing that is I don't want to pick up the area of the clouds. Clicking on it, that's now gone. And just using the space bar to come over to where we started. And yep, that will do nicely. I'm going to close this down. Let's go to fit on screen, which is command zero, control zero, command zero, control zero, fit on screen. Let's click on the adjustment layer. In fact, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to put it into the bin. Thank you very much. It has done its job. Right, that was the first part, finding the spots, removing them. Now for darkening down the sky. Once again, we're going to put in a new empty layer. Once again, it has called it layer one. We're going to double click. We're going to call this sky. Just pressing enter or return will apply that. Over to the toolbox, gradient tool. Make sure you've got the default colors. That is black as the foreground color, white as the background. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colors. Going down to the tool options. Under the gradient editor, we're going to click on this because we need to change it. It has to be black through to transparent or foreground to transparent. So we're going to click on the second window in. There it is, black through to transparent, that checkerboard background. Click OK to that. 
Right, let's take a look at the gradient itself. Now, radial, no, it has to be linear. Now that we've done that, we can close this down out of the way. Let's bring our cursor into the center of the image. I'm up on the top part there. I'm going to press and hold down shift on the keyboard. The reason for holding down shift on the keyboard is I'm going to click down. And because I've held down shift, it gives me a nice straight line. If I release shift, you can see it becomes a bit wonky. So shift gives you a nice vertical line. Releasing it, we have darkened down the sky. And it'll look even better if we change the blend mode from normal. We're going to take a look at soft lights. There it is, like the way this is working. Right, I want to drop this down a little bit further. We can do that by coming up to Image, Transform, Free Transform, Command T or Control T is the shortcut. That puts the Transform tool around it. You can now make this gradient as big or as small as you like. So I'm going to drag it down into this area here. That looks pretty good. Clicking on the green tick or double clicking inside the frame will apply it. Now, if you think it's a little bit over the top, you can come to the opacity slider and just blend it in. And there it is. The reason for removing those spots beforehand, if I just switch this back on, because we've darkened it down, you can now see some of the other spots there are coming through. So you need to remove them before darkening down the sky. Now, the idea I had was either to use it as a black and white or to tone it. And we can do both using an adjustment layer. So let's come over to the layers panel. We're going to come up to the adjustment layer icon. The adjustment layer we're going to be using is the gradient map. Now, as soon as we select it, you can see there is our black and white and it is black through to white. And as this prompt is telling us, we can click here to edit the gradient. So clicking in the window, there's our gradient editor, which is exactly the same as we used to darken down that sky. But this time we can use it for black and white. So let's take a look. If I bring my cursor to this little stop here, if I click on it, you can see there it is color stop. It is important to make sure you get that prompt. Now, when you click down, there's our color black location, 0%. And if I bring my cursor over the word location, you'll notice the way I've got my arrow going through the finger. And if I just click down, we can now move it across. We can darken it down. What we're doing is we're introducing more black into the picture so we can have it rather black like that. I'm going to back it up into this area here. Looks pretty good. In fact, let's just move it up into that position. Let's come to the whites. Make sure again you get that little prompt. We can now click down location 100%. And as we move this in, what we're doing now is we're introducing more of the whites into the picture. So I'm going to take that up into this area. We can come to the center, that little diamond. Make sure you get the, no, you do not want that. And that's the reason for showing you. You don't want to add a stop. I want to make sure I've got the color midpoint. Now I can click down. It is telling me 50%. So make sure you get that color midpoint. If I now move that across into this area, we're introducing more of the blacks, move it back into the other way. We're introducing more of the whites. And I'm just gonna take this a touch or two into that area, like the way this is looking. In fact, just gonna click okay. And there it is, there's our black and white. But what if you want to tone it? Well, coming back to our gradient map, if we double click, there's our gradient editor. And what I'm gonna do is just uh, click on the black stop here. When I click on it, there's our color clicking in the window brings up our select stop color. Let's move this out the way. And as we bring it into the image, you'll notice the way we can add a little bit of tone to it. We can darken it down into this area here and we can have whatever color we want. Perhaps if you want a little bit of a cyanotype tone going on, you can. My favorite has got to be down in this region here, which, uh, Yes, as you may have guessed, I like that sort of toning. And as we bring it into this area, perhaps just up a little bit there, we can now click on OK. So there's our tone. You'll notice the way it's showing here. We can darken things down a little bit more. Got location, 6%. This is for the black stop. So I can now just darken that down a touch or two like that. There, taking it into 12. Looks pretty good. Let's come back to the whites. 93% just going to give a little bit more white into there. 85 looks brilliant. Making sure I get that color midpoint. Now, when you click down, there's 52, and I'm just going to darken it down a touch or two there. 55 
great stuff. Right, let's click on OK. Don't forget, this is all fully editable and we can close this down as well. You can come back at any time, just double click and there it is, double click again. There's everything we put into it, so let's just cancel those out. I think that looks much better than the, the color image. Switching off the sky, there it is, that's for darkening down the sky. Looking around the picture, these little rocks here, I'm just finding a little bit too bright. So we're going to pick up the spot healing brush, make sure we're on the clean layer. I can now just go over those, just removing those stones. And there it is. There's our finished image. Well, apart from the fact that I just need to put in another adjustment layer, this time levels to finish off. I've got a little bit of a gap there. I'm just going to bring that in for the blacks. So making sure we've got the full range. We can now make it a bit darker. We can make it a bit brighter. Just going to brighten it up very, very slightly into that region. Switching it on and off, you can see the difference that makes to the picture. And there it is. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.